Leviathan here, back in the world of Fallout 3. Uh, this time we are taking a look at a uh, little mod called Dr. Lesko's Research. Uh, sounds interesting. I've uh, seen someone else play through another one of this uh, mod author's uh, videos before, or mods before, and uh, apparently uh, he makes rather large ones. Uh, but yeah, uh, in this, uh, you are supposed to have the quest those already completed. I'm pretty sure that in the save file I have it done. Also, uh, Dr. Lesko needs to be alive! I'm pretty sure he's alive. I can't remember. It's been a long time. But anyways, uh, we need to go over to Grey Ditch. So let's get back into first person here. And uh, see if I remember where Grey Ditch is at. Okay, Great Itch, right over here. So, yeah, Vault 101 there, Great Itch right here. We will be there in a moment. This is it. <laughs> we just ran all the way around it. Okay, door to recently built shack. Back again, are we? How marvelous! Yep, yep, uh, Dr. Uh, Lesko, uh, you remember us? Uh, from a long, 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 long time ago. Anyways, uh, you're, you've got a job for us, right? Your arrival is most unexpected, but not entirely unwelcome. How's the research going, Doctor? Why are there fire ants still down in the metro tunnels? So what are you going to do now about your experiments? I have to go now. Uh, yeah, how's, how's things going? Well, this is rather embarrassing, but I have encountered a problem. You see, I've discovered that the Queen Ant in Marigold Station has been infected with a strain of FEV that I have been using. I don't understand. Wasn't that the point of what you were doing in the station? Science. So her hag... Eggs are now permanently affected by this mutation you've been using. Uh, mind putting that into words of one syllable? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so uh, you, you mu mutated her. Yes, yes, I see the look on your face. I admit my experimental procedures have been rather sloppy. I was so convinced by theories were my theories were correct that I failed to take the correct precautions against s contamination. As you are clearly well versed in scientific procedure, I'm sure you can see my difficulty now. All her eggs are infected and thus useless in your experiments. Yes, you've hit the nail on the head unless I can find some Untainted eggs, my research is unable to pro progress beyond theory and conjecture. I wonder, would you be interested in helping me? Five eggs should be enough to be going on with. I guess I could get some eggs for you. No, I don't think I want to do that. Yes. You could? How marvelous! <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> uh, five eggs would be sufficient for my immediate pro proposal. Proposal. I'll get on it. All right. If I happen to find a queen, I'll look out for some eggs. Uh, that's fine. But I like to get paid for my work, Doctor. Uh, I'll get right on it. How marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> I'll look forward to your return. Any idea where I might find some eggs? Does your mistake mean the fire ants will be back when the next brood hatches? Why are there fire ants still down in the tunnels? What are you going to do now about your experiments? I have to go. Uh, yeah, where, where can I find some eggs? Any giant ant queen should produce these eggs I need. Well, apart from our queen here in Greditch, of course. Does your mistake mean fire ants will be back in the next hatching? No, no. Fortunately, the mutation of the queen does not result in pyrosis. 
Indeed, it seems unlikely the eggs she now produces will be viable at all. However, if I can work on untainted eggs, I may be able to reverse the effects and continue to use the queen here in Marigold for my work. Uh, well, yeah, why, why, why are there fire ants still down there? I'm afraid that's my fault. The last mutagen sample was given to the ant queen's entire brood. The brood consists of hundreds of larvae. I'm afraid that after they hatched, some escaped through the nooks and crannies in the tunnels. The fire ants you are seeing now are merely the remnants of the brood returning to the nest. So what are you going to do now about your experiments? Well, I'm uncertain. This does deal quite a blow to my research. First, however, I must stay here and devote all of my resources to finding the proper mutagen formula. I have to go now. Now, was it five parts per milliliter, or was it six? Hmm. It's always five. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, uh... You get Move a robot. Along, please. Protect and serve. Protect and don't serve. Don't even think of breaking into that. Is it? Shut up, drinking. Um, okay. So... I think I know where I can find some eggs, and um, let's see if there's a quest. Uh, obtain five suitable egg ant eggs for Dr. Lesko's experiments. And of course we have no map marker, but I do believe they said there's no map marker in this. Okay, so I think there are some ants somewhere up here. Okay, so I think I found some ants. Uh, I killed some when I first got here outside. But yeah, we have a uh, this this shale bridge. It's because it's got ants. The shale Another bridge... In the wasteland. Seriously, man. Shale bridge uh, tunnels, uh, which is... Uh, show you here. Right over here in this part of the map. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, let's uh, go in, find ourselves uh, some eggs. And... yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, wait. There's a bunch of eggs over here. harvest any of these eggs, but uh, we got another cave we can go into, so let's go in. Are, are you guys going to be friendly? You're all drunks. Nope, you are not going to be fair. Teach you to mess with me. Yeah. You won't get away with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get a, some raider armor, sledgehammer, it looks like. Hello. Oh, Want your eggs, then I'll leave.
<laughs> Just tons of ant meat and a dead Brahmin. Turning on my night vision, making everything washed out. No clue where to look, because I'm really going to this cave. Because I don't like ants. Oop, I think I see some eggs. And there's a queen. She's gone. Hey guys, gonna step right in front of me. I'm glad that's over. Yep. Uh, one egg. Two eggs. Three eggs. We need eggs. That's the big idea. Four eggs. Dead guy. And did the queen have eggs on her? No. Okay, we got four. That's not really going to help us. Five eggs! Okay. That should be everything that we needed. Said obtain five su suitable giant ant eggs, and we've got uh, okay, is it under miscellaneous? Got one. Um, Five. Okay. Okay, now we will uh, head back and uh, see if he's got more work for us. She uh, might. I don't know. Now if I can find my way out of here. Um, yep. And now we'll head over there. Okay, that's why I can't fast travel. Okay, we're back. Hello. Back yeah. again, are we? Yes, How we are. Marvelous. Your arrival is most unexpected, but not entirely unwelcome. Uh, you asked me to get some eggs, so you should be expecting me to return, unless you're expecting me to die. I have the eggs you required. Re require, Doctor. Uh, how are your experiments going? Okay. Oh, that's marvelous. Yes. These look to be just what I have been looking for. Thank you once again for all your help. Anything else you need help with? Well, actually, there is, yes. There is a particular book that would be extremely helpful to me. 
I was reluctant to mention it before because I realized how unlikely it is that you would be able to find a particular book out there. Nevertheless, if you would like to help me, then I would certainly be very gr grateful if you could procure a copy. What's the name of the book? That sounds like an impossible task I'll pass. Uh, what's the book? It's called The Intact Gnomes by Vigitus and Kowalski. I have heard that it contains just the sort of data that could help me in my research. I would be happy to pay 250 caps for a copy. Uh, that's a tall order, Doctor. I'm going to need at least 500 caps for expenses. All right, uh, yeah, 500 caps. I suppose I can, can't can argue with you there. Very well, 500 caps it is. Oh, this is marvelous. I do hope you can locate a copy. Uh, any, de any idea where I might find this book you're looking for? Well, not really. The only thing I can suggest is to try anywhere. You might expect to find a lot of books. It's not much help, I know, but if it were easy, I'd have a copy of the book here now. Uh, how are your experiments going today? Disaster! The last batch of mutagen was completely contaminated. I'll have to start anew. Such is the burden of working in this environment. Okay, I have to go now. Now, was it five parts per milliliter, or was it six? I said mm. it was five. It's always five. Do, do five. Where'd drink can go? And Rodney. Ah, yeah, whatever. Okay, uh... Huh. Uh, the, the only place I can think of is, uh, that library, um, uh, which I can't remember where it's at, uh, okay, uh, Arlington Library, so we'll go over there, and, uh, hope, hopefully it's there. Help me go down. Where are we fighting? Alan? Oh, there you guys are. Seriously? Stop shooting my friends! Rodney, get over here. Uh, hopefully this is the place. Um, yeah. Uh, huh. Okay, so there's kind of a read me. Why don't you look where you're going? You can download. Does say you're supposed to deal with a bunch of people. The Brotherhood is at your service. That's nice. Um, and some random friendly guy you're supposed to find. Okay. Uh, I think we found it.
Neither do I. There's a guy with rockets. There's two guys with rockets. Who? Okay. Okay, everyone okay? Okay, so this is, uh, I'll show you real quick here. I spent so much time running around this building, didn't see this door. Uh, so, upstairs here, okay, uh, I'll show a little bit more precise. Um, okay, okay, now I'm backwards. Yep. Okay, so this is the entrance area. I don't know where... Oh, there she is, the lady that buys the books from you. But, uh, you go in here. Go around. Over here. Go up the stairs. And it's a reference library. Okay. Got some bl blood on you. Okay. Okay, now there's supposed to be a friendly guy, which hopefully we didn't just annihilate. Why don't um, you look where you're going? Because I don't want to. Uh, a raider with a Brotherhood power armor. Okay. I had a door key. Hmm. I will take that key. Don't know if I need to. Oh, oh boy. That's that's a lot of books. Find something, Rodney? It's a broken computer. I, I don't think it'll work. Don't know why I picked those up. <laughs> okay, well we've got a door up here. Very big room. Hello. I'm gonna shoot your head. Of course. Okay. Hi. Cut it out. No. Money. Hello. This is really well done. Very easy. Scribe Thomas's journal. This book is written in an unintelligible scrawl. Okay. There are so many books in here that we could sell to that lady. Uh, there are any Twinkies left. Hello. It's a lot of blood. Okay, so that took us back outside. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, that guy that we're supposed to find is not dead. Tape. Pr 
property lost. Uh, Mary, I found this envelope under one of the tables this afternoon. I think it belongs to the congresswoman who was in here earlier. You're going over to the Library of Congress later, aren't you? Could you drop this in to the into Susan Waters? She has an office in the and Annex. She'll be able to return it to its rightful owner. Thanks, Evie. Evie. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Um. Oh, thank God you're here to rescue me. Please get me out of this place. You have a very weird-looking face. <laughs> Sure, I'll help you, but do you know where the key is to this door? Actually, I'm here looking for a book. Maybe you can help me. Do you want my help? You help me. I'm looking for a book. Uh... Where's the key? Must be around here somewhere. One of these scumbags probably has it. Or put it somewhere. Okay, wait a minute. Sure. Requires key. Looking for a key. Found a dead lady. Looking for a key. Jail key. How convenient. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thank you, Wastelander. I won't forget this with my big fat head. I wish I had something I could give you, but well, you can see everything I've got. I'm going to report back to Scribe Yarling. Thank you again. Uh, before you go, I wonder if you could help me. How did you get yourself into this mess? Do you know anything about the Library of Congress? Um, yeah, how did you get into this? We thought the reference library was clear of raiders. Nike Habert Carbert, Corbett, and her team wiped them out, or so we thought. Turned out we were wrong. They came back in force overnight and surprised us. I've, it's been a running battle to get control of the library for weeks. There just seems to be no end to these raiders, and they don't give up. They cut off the exits before I could get out. I'm afraid I just hid under a table. That's where they found me. I was incredibly fortunate you came along when you did. You really don't want to know what they do to their prisoners. If I had known, I have probably bit a bullet in my put a bullet to my brain instead of trying to hide. Uh do you know anything about the Library of Congress? A little. I'll gladly tell you about it as soon as we're safe. Okay. Wait, 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 um, Right. What is it? Please, I want to get to safety. <laughs> uh, before you go, I wonder if you could uh, help me. Sure, of course, if I can. What do you want? I'm looking for a book. Uh, the N Intact Gnome, have you seen it? You're asking me about a specific book? Look, I'm really grateful to you, but, well... Have you seen this place? Look around you. I've been watching these morons. I've been... I've watched them using pages from these books as toilet paper. I've watched them burn books to keep warm. I've watched them piling books up in a little bonfire and then pushing some poor guy's face into it. I've been sitting here waiting for that to happen to me. Kind of ironic, really. People keep telling me I've always got my nose in a book. <laughs> so there's no chance of finding it here. There were some intact books here when I first arrived, but then these uh, cretinous raiders came back. I think they realized what we were here for and deliberately set out to destroy as much as possible. 
Neanderthals. What did you say the book was called again? The Intact Gnome. For some reason, that does actually ring a bell. Where have I seen this name before? If only I had my journal. Uh, do you mean this one? Wow, you actually found that! I figured it was long gone. Yes, I was keeping notes as I went along. I mean... We were using the computer system here to both get to information and record it. But I always had a habit of writing anything down that particularly caught my eye. Just as well I did, because these raiders shot up the computer as soon as they found it. You can actually read that? <laughs> yes, my, it's my own handwriting. Now, let me take a look. Yes, I did rem remember that name. I was going through the records of, uh, I was going through the record of withdrawals and noticed that a particular, that a politician had taken out a book just a few weeks before the Great War. That was what stuck in my ha head, in my mind. A congresswoman, Corbett, took out the intact gnome on October 18th, 2077. I wonder why the, why a politician would be interested in a book about insects. Did she bring the book back? Got any other details on her? Not as far as I can see. There was an address, though. Apparently, this congresswoman wasn't a member of the library and had it had to join in order to take out the books. Let's see. Yes, it's in an apartment here in town, just a few miles from here, a street east of the old Nuka-Cola plant. Strange, I always imagined politicians before the war living in grand country mansions. But I guess it makes sense that they'd have their have somewhere to live in the city. Is that everything? Other than the odd fact that the congresswoman was born exactly 39 years to the day before the Great War, that's everything. It's an amazing stroke of luck there, that much. Well, I think I'll get back to Scribe Yarling. I've had more than enough of this place. Thank you again. Okay. So. Looks like we need to go, uh, he said west? <laughs> Ugh, yawning. Uh, west of the Nuka-Cola plant. Uh, was it Arendelle? It did say west, right? Sure hope he did. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got a little note. According to the scribe, at the Arlington Library, a congresswoman borrowed a copy of the intact gnome just before the war. Apparently she, apparently she lived in an apartment somewhere east of the old Nuka-Cola plant. Okay, so we're going to the Nuka-Cola plant. Cut it out. Shut up, drinking. And someone just fell over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nuka-Cola plant. Uh, 